this is it. Probably. Possibly. I can't imagine we won't finish it this stream. This could be a 15 minute video. This could be a three hour video. Probably not. I don't think it'll. there's any way it could be that. We only have uh, 14 locations left to, I'm sorry, uh, 27 locations remaining. 14 estimated left to check, according to the tracker. And, uh, we almost finished it last time. We are very close. I think we're only missing the final sword upgrade. Is that all we need, or is just the, the light arrows? Hello, Darian. No, I think it's just the light arrows is all that we still need. Nope, wrong side. And the best place currently to look is the one place in the game that I was trying very hard to avoid. We got we got to go to the Wind Temple. Makar Makar got us. We we got to go see him. Now the worst way this could go, the most time-consuming way, is if the only thing we find in the Wind Temple is the final pearl which we then have to go to the, uh, the Tower of the Gods. Where's the Wind Temple? It's at one of the top islands. Gale Isle, that's the one. Appropriate. So, worst case, we have two whole dungeons left to do. I'm hoping it doesn't turn out that way. It's also possible that we'll walk in the front door and the first item we get will be the light arrows, and then we'll just, we'll stroll back to Ganon and beat him up. It could, it, anything could happen. It's a randomizer. If you're watching this on YouTube, then... I guess you've already been spoiled by the length of the video. It's been a uh, very stressful week. I had uh oh what what happened? The uh there was no preschool. There were several of the teachers at the preschool that I drive for got sick. So uh, there was no preschool Monday through Wednesday. And so, as they do, the bus barn put me on covering other routes. Specifically routes on unfamiliar buses in unfamiliar places at 6 a.m. pitch black in the rain. Using map quests to navigate, because we were not allowed to use GPS. So, uh, yeah, it, a couple days of that had me in not good spirits. I was very ready for the week to be over come Tuesday. And to top things off, I got, uh, what did I get? I got a jury summons for next week. And I also got a citation from Portland for a vehicle that I do not own, so, uh... I might have to take that to court. It's, it's, it's been a very fun week. But now it's Saturday, and I am very glad to have just a free day. Now I have to remember this dungeon. <laughs> Uh, planning, it's two days from Halloween, I'm planning our annual 
Death Road to Canada stream tomorrow. This time with company. And I got highlights from last year's run out earlier today. I don't need bombs. I got these now. Okay, I mean, I might need bombs. I didn't get the I didn't get the third bomb upgrade. Oh, that's right. I need the wind waker out so I can control this little turd. All right. What is it? Left, middle. Is that it. I do remember that planting trees in this dungeon often makes treasure chests appear. For some reason. I don't know why I think it would make more sense for a chest to appear when you press a button, but I don't know. It seems at least slightly more reasonable than coming into existence upon planting trees. Is that weird that I feel that way? Wind Temple, where am I at? There we go. Small key. Chest between two dirt patches. How do I get up here again? I don't even like the way he sounds. Look at his dumb rattle when he walks. Alright, Makar, you stay there. There's a lot of a lot of iron boots, a lot of leaf in this dungeon. how much Ganon would care about preserving the environment. He comes from a desert, and he has stated that he, like, he's envious of the, the green verdant Tyrule. You'd think he'd want to preserve it, right? Where's my car? Well, he's right there. Hello. Little shit. Man, I I think you have to play this song even more times in this temple than you do in the in the medley one. And they both have the same gimmick too. They do. They both just fly. I guess they kind of need to. in order to uh, fully, like, traverse the temple. In order not to uh, not get stuck, I should say. I don't need over there. Link needs over here. What am I doing? Man, there was no point bringing him up here. Yeah, I, I, I got it, Darian. Pretty sure I titled one of the Wind Waker streams that. Well, I guess I'm supposed to go up here with the hook shot. Why does it need so many items? I only have three slots. 
Also, once again, this is this is a GameCube game. Why don't I have like the D-pad available? I well, I guess it's doing like map stuff, but you could have added item slots. It would have much been a much better use. I think I'll probably end up doing the uh, PC Ocarina port for the randomizer this year. Assuming it does have uh, multiplayer. I, I would like to do multiplayer again. The main thing about the, uh, the multi-game randomizer that I think might not work out is that... Uh, Elf King and Illitox don't like being on stream. And if we were to do the multi-game one, I would want, like, Illitox on uh, Hollow Knight. Do you think he gets sick of his own noise? Like, imagine you rattled when you walked around. You'd be mad at your body, right? You get sick of hearing it all the time. It'd be like t it's it's like tinnitus. Why does he rattle anyway? Is he is he hollow? I thought he was just like a, a chunk of wood. I mean, I know why he's based off the. What do they call the Kodama? Little uh, mythical Japanese dudes in Spirited Away and Princess. Were they in Spirited Away or just Princess Mononoke? I know they were in Mononoke. Okay, get my bombs out again. I believe this is the dungeon that I get the hook shot in. Look how much item switching I have to do. Is that... Did that open the door? No, it didn't. I'm also in a voiceover... competition... which uh, has its deadline this weekend, so... I've been piling on the final work to get everything done for that. Not seeing anything about online functionality. I could have sworn there was multiplayer. Oh no, maybe... You know what it is? I think I heard someone ask about it. Because they'd seen, like, a YouTube video of it. And I think it was determined that was like a dev build. It wasn't quite ready for a public release yet. Maybe within the next couple months. Maybe it'll be ready by the time that uh, I do this year's stream. Another down there, is there? There's a tingle chest, but those aren't randomized. Yeah, thanks. I think uh, normally if I were doing this dungeon, I would go this way, find the hookshot, and then later be back in that room.
I'm trying to do this more or less linearly so that I don't get too lost. Just go ahead and bonk myself with this. He's fine, he can take it. Alright, chest behind stone head is piece of heart. Chest in left alcove. Let's not worry about those for now. Just in middle of hub room. Well, I assume that was the hub hub room. These rooms are the most tedious. The ones with these flipping walls slash floors. Because I have to switch back and forth so many times. Maybe. Maybe I don't in this one. Maybe I just need to flip it once. That'd be nice. That's the left alcove, I'm gonna guess. Alright, treasure chart. Useless. Uh. Now, would I have. I would have this at this point. But I had the. I needed the song to enter the dungeon, so. Whatever happened to the Bancho fan in Dragon Ball? Did it get destroyed? Or was that... No, that was a filler item. Like, that last arc. Dr the original Dragon Ball ended with uh, Goku and Chi-Chi's honeymoon adventure. Chi-Chi got to go on one adventure with Goku. And it, it was filler, apparently. It wasn't in the manga. Really begs the question of what's the point of that door. It's not like it's difficult to get my car here. a shield for anyway? Alright. Big key chest. Come on, light arrows. It's all we need. If we just get those, we're done. It's the note to mom. I think that's Baito's piece of mail. Did 
That's an additional check, I assume. Unless, I don't think I randomize mail items, so. In which case, that is useless. Now. There's a chest in this room. I don't remember if there's anything down here on, like, the ground. I don't think there is. Not even a tingle chest. What a weird enemy. Do they ever come back again? I don't think... I think they're new to Wind Waker, these arms that, like, latch onto you. They suck up your magic, is what they do. They don't damage you, your health, in any way. Although I guess for this room, sucking up your magic is uh, dangerous because you need it for the Deku Leaf. They're not quite Dexy Hands because the... The Dexy Hands are the ones in this game that come out of the shadows. Again, I'm glad that Majora, Majora's Mask contributed to the... Uh, the continuing Zelda world. I don't know. I don't know why I wouldn't expect it to. It's not like it wasn't a uh, well-loved Zelda game. I guess it's just the same way that it's kind of odd how uh, Mario 2 contributed, like, lasting enemies to the Mario world. Even though it quote-unquote wasn't a Mario game. What a weird way to handle frozen enemies. the chest. What are you? It's the pearl. We now have acted. The light arrows could now be in the Tower of the God. Tower of the God. Just one god. This is a monotheistic Zelda game. Do I have enough magic? Maybe the skulls will refill me. Yes. Give me that magic. Just a little more. I don't need arrows. I, I might need arrows later, but not this moment. That was overkill. I think a normal arrow will kill those guys. I think. Yeah. I just like when people make the argument that uh, Mario 2, U US Mario 2, was uh, not originally a Mario game. Because, yes, everyone knows it was Doki Doki Panic. However, Doki Doki Panic was uh, made by basically the entire same crew as Mario Bros. 1. It was made as a tie-in for a Japanese TV station. But even before that, it was conceived as basically a Mario game. It was conceived as a platformer to capitalize on the Mario craze by the same team as Mario Bros. So in a spiritual sense, it was kind—it of, was 
kind of always a Mario game. I don't know if I need my car here, but I don't want to lose him. It'll be annoying to find the little turd again. I don't remember ever doing this in the past, so I'm pretty sure I don't have to, but... Maybe I, maybe I was lucky enough to just avoid this dungeon the last time I did. Well, no, I've, I've never streamed a Wind Waker randomizer before. What happens if these guys grab my car? It's, I'm sure it's a bad idea, but I have to know for science. No? <laughs> you can't attack, you can't fight back. It's just like the Gibdos in Majora's Mask. They can't suck wood. Sorry. It wants it so bad. Alright, go ahead and park the car. He can wait here. He'll be fine. I saw a chest. I saw a thing that I want. <sighs> Always gotta change items. I guess it's a good thing that a dungeon is built around more than, like, one item. I do appreciate that about uh, this game's and Majora's dungeons. Because otherwise, I, th I think the dungeons in Ocarina got kind of linear, being built around a single item. And that was kind of the case in uh, Twilight Princess as well. Thus far, of what we played of Twilight Princess. Whereas in uh, both this game and in Majora, you get uh, multiple I multiple items around the time you start a dungeon. And so as a result, the dungeon is built around... Like this one is Iron Boots and also the Hookshot and the Deku Leaf. Which isn't new. The Forest Haven, Forbidden Forest, that place. You can do it! Keep going! Push it to the limit! Really had to fly up that step. Pathetic. Forbidden Forest was based around the Deku Leaf and also the uh, Boomerang. Where's the chest I just saw? I saw a chest. Is it up there? Ah! Go up! Ah! I guess it, the ledge needs to be high enough for you to uh, jump off of in order to use the, uh, use the leaf. You know what? I'll just go straight out, and I'll go straight back. Makar, you are right in the way. Maybe 
maybe I can... Yeah. Piece of heart. What else is down here? I can go in there. But I'm probably not supposed to yet, so let's look in here first. I remember this room. This is the room with the dumb, loud spikes. Did they silence the spikes? They're not making the dumb, loud noise. No, you just have to get closer. Thrust. It's also the room with the totally random chest condition where you have to break all five of those floors. too far. No? He didn't want to pull. I don't know if, if pushing and pulling was always this finicky in Wind Waker, or if it's like, uh... Maybe they attempted to improve it in the randomizer. And whatever they did, I'm just having trouble with. Alright, here we go. First chest is the dungeon map. And now the tedious bit. Alright, back up. It would seem totally logical to assume that uh, these are just traps. And you only need to go down one of them just to get to the lower floor. In my opinion. But I guess they have the second, like, treasure chest pad to show you that there was something else in this room. And even that room that I got stuck on last time in Ganon's Tower. Like the tablet said something along the lines of my my servants in the depths. So I can't say there was no hint at all that you had to jump down that pit. I still don't think it was enough, personally. I'm definitely not biased biased in saying that. So much busy work. Nope, don't need to bother with you. Alright, second chest. Is a Triforce chart. I'm so glad I didn't include all the Triforce pieces. Imagine how much longer this would have taken. This is already- we're already on our sixth stream of this. Oh, 
I'm gonna guess this is e the Wizrobe room. Yeah. This is the Master Wizrobe. I wonder if there's a proper name for this type of Wizrobe. Maybe there's like a special title on the Zelda wiki or something. Where's the summoner at? Where'd he go? I'm gonna take three hits. Always take out the mage first. That's just video game law. He's unfazed. All right. No, even then. All right. Man, that's a good helmet. I need that helmet. I need that helmet. Still just called whiz robes, huh? I thought maybe they'd be called master whiz robes or something. Spiked chest. What are you? Are you light arrows? You're the boss key. Alright. Well, I guess if that's one more item, we're gonna have to do Temple of the Gods. Not looking forward to that. Boy, this is gonna be a fun stream. We got the, the this, an escort dungeon, and we got the water dungeon. What about the dudes in Zelda 2? The Ku Klux members. Are they, were they whiz robes? I wonder if I'll ever play that again, Zelda 2. I did the Redux version, and I'm not proud of how that ended. I ended up reset scumming bad. Because I forgot a basic combat maneuver, the upstab. I've never done a uh, randomizer of it, but uh, I did. Well, I, would I want to? That one's such a a a difficult game, and b one that I am not as familiar with as these three D ones. Another small key. They were just wizards. Okay. Where am I going next? Where can I go next? Up there, maybe? I can break those pillars. I cannot. They're too tough. They're good pillars. Oh, 
I thought for sure that would work. What if I could just smash them from the front with the hammer? That'd be nice. It's not the case, but... I mean, they're made of stone. Should work. I could also just use bombs, but... Uh, I don't know, just stabbing them in the back is more fun. Well, all right. And just like that. Well, that's a weird model for the light. Okay, because it's it's remodeled. It's a Gerudo light arrow. I don't... Is that what they look like in Breath of the Wild? I don't get the references for all this Gerudo gear, but I, it's cool that it's new. Well, anyway, that's it. Uh, we... we don't have to go to the Temple of the Gods. Thank God. We don't even have to do the boss here. I can just leave. Where's the way out? Where's where's my where's my pot? I just need to find an exit pot. I don't think there's a dungeon escape song like there is in other Zelda games. How long was this? We're f about 45 minutes in. Hot. Oh, that's the... You know what? That's fine. That was the dungeon warp pot, and that's all right, because this is actually where we need to be. That was the perfect shortcut. Boat. Where's my boat? I'm glad you you were somehow here. I still wish I knew what mysterious waterways lie beyond that, uh, that void. I want to know what adventure the, the king went on. The king of Red Ganons. Okay, now he appears. Don't, I don't think I can just shoot him with light arrows immediately, though. I need to do this once first. I also have my uh, soup. I'll just save that for the Ganon fight proper, I suppose. Oh yeah, I can just shoot him. It's alright, I like to toy with my enemies. Let's go ahead and take this. So is this Ganon's door key? It is. I love it. Mind me. 
What awful guards. They can't stop anything. I could light arrow them immediately, but why? Hello. Goodbye. Not only are they not a threat to me, they're a threat to each other. Let's see, light arrows. Guess I'll get my soup out. Do I even need to defeat them? Yeah, I do. Alright. No. Alright, I need some space. Do I, I need to defeat every enemy in this room? Alright. I thought I was being cheeky. really wanted to trick shot that night. That was a nice camera angle. I get the feeling we weren't supposed to see that. Also, what is this music track? Zelda 64 had Ganon playing like a sweet pipe organ on our way up to him. This one, there's just kind of like sad Indian music playing way in the background. We can barely hear it. They want to go for a for a dramatic atmosphere. I bring one of these with me. Oh, we're going immediately. And cue the worst boss music. Which is a pretty low bar in this game. This is good to see the boomerang used again. Haven't haven't used it in a little while. No, get back here. Where'd you go? So this is like not entirely magic. A, a Ganondorf is up there like, waggling strings around to move this thing, right? Uh, it's bad enough that it's an awful musical theme. It's, all, it's also just, like, the least intimidating final boss ever. I mean, final boss, quote-unquote. The penultimate boss. This, ba this is basically just first-form Ganondorf.
This stu this has to have this stupid square in the middle of the floor. Just getting in the way. It's not like he ever really damages you. The bats are more of a threat to Link's health than Puppet Ganon is. I can be right up in his face, and all his all he'll do is like throw his stupid arms at me once every 20 seconds. Like, the difficulty of this boss is that his tail is hard to hit. Which is more tedious than difficult. Welcome to the end of the Wind Waker randomized stream, where I just, I shit on the game. More and more. As we go through the go through the motions of the final cutscenes. I do like the final Ganondorf. It's just this was really unnecessary. The whole puppet Ganon thing. And really hard to explain from any kind of narrative perspective. It's just Ganon has lots of hobbies. Plays the organ, builds puppets. He doesn't have a very long time to explore them every time that he uh, he's reincarnated. He really has to get to work on it fast. If he's gonna have any fun. I was an impressive construction if the only thing it's weak to is light arrows. Oh, that's right, I can stun it. Very briefly. Time for soup. This is the hardest boss in the game. This stupid snake centipede puppet. Oh, whoops. What did I get? I got water. All right, uh, stay hydrated. What's the point of stunning it? He doesn't meaningfully slow down or anything. He's stunned for less time than it takes the light arrows to recharge. Maybe if I stun him with something else, maybe the hammer. Yeah, I can hammer this thing. I'm gonna do it. Come at me. Come at me. I want to smash him in the face so badly. He keeps turning away every time he gets close. He sees the hammer. Alright, maybe the hammer's not going to work. 
I've got to do it once, though. I'm committed now. He's not going to come close enough. Okay, yeah, that's not happening. Whoops. The most aggravating boss. And all we have for drops are these guys. I could avoid him, but why bother? Wait, there's pots around the room. I think. Aren't there pots? Are they only on, like, ledges up there? Who would have thought that uh, Ganon's greatest weakness would be random flailing? And in, in this context being me, not not the guy controlling the puppet. I've only got one hit on this thing. I need at least one more, probably two more. Oh, I can stun him with the sword. Is that how you're supposed to do this? Why, why was that like way less of a stun than the first time? Is it because it's just the third hit is why? Fucking finally. Well, I didn't use any fairies, but I seem to recall finishing that fight in about the same state the last time we played this game. And now we have the final stupid climb. Very dramatic, but also very tedious. So how are you? Been playing Pokemon series again of late. Finally making a living dex in the virtual versions of the games, which which is to say ROMs. Pokemon has been the only series that I have stuck to cartridges for the longest time. Up until... You know, they, they took out the national decks, so now I, I can't have my entire living decks in a Pokemon game. So, not really a point anymore. Sad. Tragic, really. 
It'd be so easy to fall off this, too, and lose this final heart. Which, if I didn't have fairies, what would that do? Would it reset the room? Would I have to fight the boss again? It's also a very good thing for Link that there are these, uh... These specific grappling hook locations built into the chandelier, into the rafters. Because if this was all just ordinary wood, this would be the end of his adventure. And he would have no way of reaching Ganon. GG's got him. Just in case I need to come back to this point later. Not that I'll need it, but I might as well. Was that it? Am I just going in the pot? Or am I forgetting something? Oh no, there's the, there's a the, the hookshot target. I was gonna say, I don't remember that that being how this goes. Don't wanna fall here, that'd be bad. Be the end of the hero of winds. But I can grab any part of this, so what's the point of the target? I guess just to make it obvious how you get up there. Alright. This being the randomizer. Oh, she doesn't like me cutting her. Ow. I wonder if this... I don't remember him being this aggressive. I wonder if the difficulty has been, like, altered. He's also a very green Ganondorf. He's like, he's radioactive Ganon, is the final boss. Alright, used a fairy. Alright, well they weren't a complete waste. Wow, he deals a lot of damage. It's Bio Ganon. Someone cloned Ganon. Who thought this was a good idea? He's a monster. He's way bigger than me. What did you do to him? I should probably shield. That's what I should do. Oh, he'll kick you if you shield. That's stupid. Ganon doesn't use martial arts. He doesn't use punches and kicks. He's a wizard. He fires projectiles. Look at all those projectiles he's firing. I don't remember this being this difficult. Am I just that out of practice? I'm gonna use two fairies. There it goes. Also very inaccurate, the uh, quick time. My Ganon kind of sucks at landing his shit.
You, you gonna do your thing, Zelda? Hey. Oh, you thought you were aiming for me. What happened? Come on. There we go. Ah! What was that? He wasn't stunned for like half a second. Yes, shoot me. Oh, that didn't work. Let me just draw him towards Zelda. This is a good idea. Yes, I get it, Zelda. Thank you. Okay, it's it's a final a final quick time. And just like that, the scourge of the seas, Bio Ganon was defeated. My evil clone put to rest so that I may be the true and only Ganon once more. I'm sure he won't come back to haunt us in the future. This is still weird. It was weird in Ocarina of Time, and it's weird here. All right, well that's time. I wonder how uh, I wonder how our randomizer speed run went. Now can we unflood Hyrule like I wanted to? no reason for this. It's just the king saying, no, I want to die, leave me here. Choose life. He'll be fine, he's a boat. He doesn't need to breathe. So this future of his didn't really, uh... uh... Sure, I guess. I don't really need to, but, uh... <laughs> What's that gonna do? There's gonna be a new game plus Ganon, but we're not gonna be able to use it because it's on a randomizer file. Well, alright. One hour, a little over an hour could have gone longer. We could have had to do the rest of the Wind Temple. We could have had to do the Tower of the Gods. That's about average from what I was expecting. There are 16 total locations in the game that we did not check. 211 that we did check. So this was still a very thorough randomizer playthrough. We did most of the things in this game. Other than, like, the treasure charts and the, 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 the trees and the annoying stuff. We didn't need to do those. Uh, what are we... We got pretty much everything. We're only... We're missing, like, one bottle. A couple upgrades, like the quiver and bomb bags. And that's it. We're... A very thorough playthrough. Uh, tune in tomorrow for our Death Road to Canada Halloween stream. And... Until next time.